Today we will hear statements by the honorable members for the District of Bayford, Green Bay, Mount Pearl North, Terra Nova, and Cape St. Francis. The Honorable the Member of Baybert, Baybert, Green Bay. Speaker, I rise to highlight and invite all my colleagues to the 34th Annual Baybert Mining Conference hosted by the Baybert Peninsula Chamber of Commerce on June 9th and 10th. Here, here. Chamber of Commerce President Lloyd Hayden and staff have worked diligently to increase the numbers with attendance up to 260 people. We anticipate these numbers to exceed due to the growing interest in the mining industry within the region and having already proven to be a must-attend mining conference each year. The mining conferences in Baybert have helped shape many of the policies and regulations in place today and have helped pave the way for the mining industry. Baybert Peninsula has a long-standing history of mining, boasting the first mine in the province, Tilt Cove, dating back to 1864, as well as Baybert, Ming's Bight, Snook's Arm, and Pine Cove. Recently, a third-generation miner's ingenuity resulted in waste rock from a gold mine op operation producing construction aggregate. It takes partnerships, cooperation, and a shared vision to build an economy and a healthy community. Everything we need to succeed in this province is right here in our people. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Excellent. The Honourable the Member for Mount Pearl North. Speaker. Over four decades, Jeff Blackwood volunteer activities have enriched our community. Jeff served as a volunteer with the Canadian Red Cross for over 25 years, serving as provincial president, Atlantic regional president, and as a member of the National Board of Governors. He was honored with the organization's high, highest recognition, receiving the Order of the Red Cross. Jeff and his late wife, Carol, founded a cancer support group that operated monthly for over 13 years. Jeff and Carol, with their group, provided new vital information on cancer treatment inside and outside of the province, as well as financial assistance to patients in need. Jeff is also a published author of the 2019 historic novel, Finding Jane. This traces the history of the first Blackwoods from Scotland to Newfoundland, involving extensive research of the Newfoundland export of salt, dried salt fish to Barbados in the early 1800s by Captain Blackwood. Jeff has also been honored by the St. John's J. Sitz Citizen of the Year Award in 2020. And he has received the Queen's Jubilee Medal. Speaker, I ask all members to join me in thanking Jeff Blackwood for his tremendous volunteerism and community spirit. The Honourable the Member Terranova. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Clarenville High School staff and students felt wellness was an essential but missing part of their curriculum. That was until they saw a virtual presentation from one of their students, Billy Wicks. Recently, Billy, Katie Spurl, Principal Michael Spurl, and their teacher, Rodney Butcher, were afforded the opportunity to travel to California and present at an international global deep learning conference and represent Newfoundland and Labrador. This was attended by over 500 educators from around the world. You can view their presentation on the high school's website. Since then, the school has embraced student wellness. They've connected wellness to student life in and outside of school by providing meaningful and, lean and learning opportunities. The last Wednesday of every month at school is dedicated to various activities where everyone gets together. Students are encouraged to take breaks, connect with family and friends, or just to do something they enjoy. A podcast, a YouTube channel have been established where students discuss relevant topics of concern to them and showcase their talents. The cafeteria during lunch has become vibrant, full of laughter from staff and students. A stage has been built, sound systems installed, 
safe pla places established, and games placed in the cafeteria. Air hockey, shuffleboard, foosball, puzzles, board games, as well as guitars, a piano to enjoy in their free time. I'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate these two young women for their meaningful initiatives. Thank you. The Honorable the Member of Cape St. Francis. Thank you, Speaker. I rise today to recognize the town of Torbay and their milestone achieved as they celebrated 50 years of incorporation as a municipality. Incorporated in 1972 under the leadership of their first mayor, the late William Manning, Torbay began the process of being shaped into the modern, developing municipality it is today. To recognize this event, the town and its dedicated volunteers planned Torbay 50 in order to celebrate this important anniversary. With events such as a community breakfast, mayor's garden party, municipal open house, citizenship ceremony, youth and adult dances, family fun day, community market, museum open house, sports reunion and softball tournament, there was something for everyone to take part in in celebrating Torbay's 50th. Speaker, I'd like to commend the numerous volunteers who were dedicated to ensuring all events went smoothly and were enjoyed. The level of volunteerism shown throughout the schedule of events from July 1st to September 30th was certainly noticed and appreciated by all of us who attended. Speaker, I ask all honorable members to join me in congratulating Torbay on their 50th anniversary and thank all staff and volunteers who made this celebration a huge success. Thanks. 